Slam those fat cat bankers. The media gives you a big fat cat free pass. Free pass, I should say. Not a peep about that guy's anti-Semitic attack on the guy challenging him. Actually, he just walked by him. Or about the fact that protesters are encouraging college students today to up and leave class to join them. I didn't even need that in college. I didn't even show up for the class. But Tea Partiers are protesting the bloated government and blasting the tax he gets spending. They're the crazy ones. That's what my next guest calls crazy. Small business owner, former GOP congressional candidate, Craig Huey, joining me now. Craig, man, if a Tea Party, if you <laughs> had done any of this, oh, man, they'd have oh. you behind bars. Neil, it's an incredible double, double standard that we have. The news media, the papers, the TV shows, they, they focus on what's going on on Wall Street and, and with these uh, students and these uh, age tippies, and they act like it's the greatest thing. They don't talk about really what they're saying, but if it's a Tea Party, they're right wing, they're, they're fascist, they're, they're extremists, they're fringe, but Wall Street uh, outrage, what they're doing is they're portraying them as idealists, and, and uh, it, it, it's really a media event that's kind of like class warfare. Now, having covered a few tea parties in my time, lots of rallies in my, uh, well, less than illustrious career, the one thing I've discovered is that cameras zero in on the oddity. So if someone yes. has a sign where something's misspelled or, uh, you know, it, it, it says something disparaging, that sign represents everybody at the rally. Now, right. that's wrong. We know in the case of that of Tea Parties, it's wrong. That, 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 that does not typify Tea Parties if someone has Obama's name is spelt or worse, okay? Someone like this guy um, who says anti-Semitic remarks, stupid remarks, remarks that, that, yeah. that should land you uh, at least overnight in jail for, for a cold reality slap across the face. Yeah. A complete they're, they're pass. Not a complete no. pass. Yeah. That's what's yeah. not fair. That's what's not balanced. It, it, it's, it's not fair, but that's the liberal media, and that's the problem. You know, at, at a tea party that I've seen, you know, they'll pick up the trash, and, and they're polite, and they have a message. They have a, a, a message that says, cut spending, cut taxes, cut regulations, cut, save jobs, grow the wealth. But what we're seeing is, is a whole different picture with this group of people who are talking about tearing down wealth, talking about attacking uh, uh, the wealthy as, as part of this class warfare, and attacking just capitalism. But they don't know what they stand for. It's an economic illiteracy. They don't know what they stand for. They just know they're angry. And so many of them, you know, they're crying for jobs, but they won't even take a job. They don't even look for a job. Uh, and yet the liberal media is portraying this as kind of a spontaneous uprising while the Tea Party, you know, that, that was that, not that, a spontaneous uprising. Uh, uh, well, you know, I'm not going to take group. either side's bait. I will say to this, Craig, I said, um, I, I didn't try to measure the worth or value of what Tea Parties are saying. I'm not going to question the worth or value of what these Wall Street protesters are saying. I'm going to treat them the same way uh, across mm -hmm. the board. But I would defy anyone in the media to be as fair. And, and I don't see it. That's yeah. all I'm saying. I don't see it. And that's fair enough, Neil. That's what we right. should do, objectively look at what they're saying and what they're doing. It's not happening, buddy. Craig Huey, thank you. In California. Thank you. Meanwhile, the big bulk sell, Costco stock.